Hello, Rotinta here. Sorry it's been so long since my last video. Um, uh, been really busy, so yeah. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna go over um, uh, three just little miscellaneous things. Uh, one of them was a question, a couple of things I just thought you guys should know. So, um, first of all, we've got our, our two files, our main and our um, care.h. Uh, so we've got our header and our source file. Um, this four file is for a future uh, future tutorial that uh, hopefully I'll get out tonight. That's on four weeks. Um, so in the character class, I've added two protected variables, an x and a y, that are both integers, and I've made a get and a set function for both of them. Now for the get, is the get one is the real magic. Um, I, I was asked how you can get multiple variables back from a function. Um, now you can create a structure and, and do it that way, but if you don't want to make a structure, um, which is kind of like a, which is kind of like a class, um, or you can make a class, um, if you don't want to go to all that trouble, you can also pass by reference, and that's what this little ampersand right here means. And so what this is going to do is instead of just passing a copy of the variable like um, would normally happen, uh, a copy of x and a copy of y, and then we set x equal to the copy of x and y equal to the copy of y, this is actually going to get um, a reference to that place in memory and set it as that variable. So, well, set, set, so in other words, we anything that we do to underscore x in this function, or to y, underscore y in this function, it's gonna, it's happening to the variable that we passed in, as opposed to just getting a copy of the variable. So all, the only difference is, in the declaration uh, and the definition, you have to have this ampersand, and that's telling it that we want to pass by reference. Now, if you notice, we um, just do the opposite of the set, which is, um, set our variable that we got equal to x and our variable that we got for y equal to y. So, that's all there is to it. You just put that ampersand and then it's passed as a reference. And so anything that you do to that variable um, in that function will will still be in that variable. It, like, the changes will still be in that variable after you return from this function. Alright, the second thing in our header file <coughs> is if you recall um, for our default constructor, uh, for MPC, um, all we were doing was just setting name equal to mob, HP equal to 15, and strength equal to 3. Well, with any function, um, you, in the, in the definition, um, you, you can, what, uh, blah, 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 sorry. Um, you can put equal to whatever, and it will put that, uh, and then if you don't get a value for that variable in from calling it, so in other words, if we didn't get a name, didn't get HP, and didn't get strength, our name would be set to mob, our HP would be set to 15, and our strength would be set to 3. So it's the same thing that's going on here, except it makes it a lot more robust. Um, we can set the name and set the HP and leave the default strength, or we can set the, the name and set the strength and leave the default HP. Um, if you wanted to do that, you would, you know, put the name, uh, comma, comma, since we're skipping this variable, and then put the uh, strength um, when you're actually calling the function. Now, let's go over to main and see what's changed over here. Alright, I wanted to give you a real quick introduction to arrays. Um, an array is basically a, a chunk of uh, variables um, all all put together, and you declare them all at the same. T you, you declare this chunk of memory all at the same time of whatever type you want. So, uh, in this case, we're have we're declaring an array of pointers to characters uh, named mob. That's the name of the array, and we're setting the amount. Um, of entries in, in our, our array to two. Um, 
for a normal array, this has to be constant. Uh, this 2 has to be constant. Um, you have to be able to determine it at compile time. Um, there is a technique called dynamic arrays, but we'll get into that later, where you can change it in runtime. Or set it in runtime. Um, we make an X and a Y. Um, we set our play our me to player, and we set uh, okay. Now, when in C and C plus plus, when you count, you start from zero. Um, that's just how it works um, in C and C plus plus, and several other languages, but um, C and C plus plus are known for this. Um, so. When you want to start counting, you start from zero. So this is that first entry in this array of two things. Uh, and one would be the second thing. So we're setting that first uh, pointer equal to a, a default. Um, in other words, we're not setting the name, not setting the HP, not setting the strength. And um, what that's going to do is it's going to make those defaults go into play. And then we set the second one with our same data just the same way we did before, except this time we're accessing an array instead. Now, we're going to tell the user that we are setting um, our x and our y to these values up here. So x will be 5 and y will be 10. Uh, then we actually set them, like we said we were going to. Then we set uh, this x and y equal to 10 and 42. Now the only reason I did this was so that you would be able to see that the results from this, uh, this passing it by reference, does in fact change this variable and this variable. So then we get the position into those x and that y, and then we print to the screen and tell them, you know, confirming that that is in fact the player's position. So now that we've got all that, let's compile and build and see what it looks like. Alright, so if you recall, whenever we um, make a, a new player, it asks for a name. So, Bob. So, it set it to 5 and 10, like we said it should, up here, 5 and 10. Uh, and it did, in fact, when we passed by reference, reset those to 5 and 10. Um, and if you, if you notice our mob's name, HP, and uh, strength, are all set to the defaults, so everything worked perfect. So um, you guys keep watching. Really appreciate y'all. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me know if there's anything you want to learn. Um, we will be going into OpenGL uh, and and that whole graphical thing um, sometime in the near future. I'm trying to get you guys to the level where you will be able to understand it, though. So be patient. Um, understand that we will get there, but um, it, feel free to ask any questions about OpenGL or C++, or C for that matter. Um, and you guys have a good day.